What's up guys, it's Bird back here, and we're back in some Don't Starve Together, modded kind of, don't know the name, I've been calling it Mod Match, but at this point we don't have a ton of mods, so it's not quite the correct fit. Hello friend, how are you doing? Um, but we are here again, and we are going to continue down. Uh, we need food. I think it's been a couple days. Since I played Don't Starve, I played uh, Slay the Spire between then and now. Um, I'm trying to double check what we said we were going to do. And if I'm correct, we came down to do, yeah, Beefalo. But we only have the two here. So what I want to do is set up nearby and um, try to shave them tonight is the goal. Um, along with getting some wood, another freaking uh, hole right there. Um, yeah, along with getting some wood, doing a couple other things like that. We are still in the middle of prepping for winter. Um, it's about two-ish days away when it should start seeing the effects of it. Um, yeah, that's the goal. But I kind of wanted to also explore a little bit more. Hope for more uh, beefalo, because two... It's not great if we ever have like a hound attack or something, you know, like that where we lure uh, bad nonsense to them, uh, they will die and it'll be very bad for us. But I don't see any this way. We've not explored all the map, which is something we need to do eventually. Maybe we'll do it as part of our winter stuff because I don't know how much we will actually be doing out in the world. I've not had a ton of prep here. So I know we can get into it, but I don't know if we will survive it. I'm not the best winter, and winter's pretty hard. Um, then we gotta get into spring and summer, we get all the rain, uh, which will cause negative sanity, which we've kind of kept pretty good. But with the bosses and all that kind of stuff, it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be very tough. Okay, Pyrus here. I guess. Lumpy sapling. Interesting. I don't remember planting that, so that's going to be more of these, and then we'll plant some of these pine cones too. Just to keep them going. Another frog, my mortal enemy. But I hope everyone is doing good today. Uh, doing a little bit of recording. Might do another one in the afternoon. I try to do mine in batches of like two or three. Um, seems the most efficient for my time specifically because then I can edit three at a time and uh, for anyone who does video stuff editing is the worst part in my opinion I'm not good at it uh, I don't I find a little joy in it uh, but more joy to see it completed so, that is that so, all right looks like we're not going to make any big splashes here I, I'm tempted to put a campfire over here I don't know if it's really worth it though. I can make a fire, right? Yeah, we can make any of them. Uh, I don't know if it's worth it just because the only advantage is more beef loads. But I don't remember how long they take to regrow the wool once we shave them down. So it's definitely a risk. I'm not sure I'm willing to take right now. More spiders. A lot more spiders. Um, good for silk, but I think we got a little bit. Um, so I'm not too worried about it. Friends, please leave me alone. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if that's the right move. We also need to eat some more. I'll eat one of these berries for now, and I guess we'll cook everything we got. Just a second. Once we set up our fire. Uh, glow caps, I think, are fine, but I don't think they provide too much of a benefit. There's a pig house here. I guess if there's anything else, like, any reason why I should set up a permanent residence here? Right. I mean, if these are the only muffalos, it could be worth protecting them and putting, like, a, a wall around them. I'm not sure yet. Alright. Why are you attacking Chester? Is this really the, 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 goal, the goal you're making here? I have to kill you now. And hopefully the other spiders will just go to the Because if they attack the, the beefalo, we're going to be kind of in trouble. Okay. Fire. I guess I'll put it right here. Seems like a good place. They should go to sleep somewhere nearby. 
put these up. Alright, before we starve to death. Still don't give that much. I'll go ahead and cook these two. Yeah. I guess the durian. Stop. Stop trying to fight me. Just really... The, like, thing we're doing. And you're going to attack Chester. Is this really necessary? Uh, okay, where's my... I thought I equipped my spear right on the surface. Seriously. Don't want to deal with this. And the... The people are not sleeping. Oh, they should now. Ow! Not what I wanted to deal with here. You're ruining my opportunities. Seriously, can we not? Can I get them all on Chester, maybe? Fight Chester. World will reset. 108. Everyone is dead. Alright. Let's go and... We could go pick up stuff, but we were already destined to die. Um, but let's go add some new mods and grab a new character. Alright guys, we are back. Um, going back in here, setting up the world. Mods I added this time were automatic chest sorting. Adds on top. I added rope bridges because that sounded fun. I felt like our last world had a lot of areas that would have been useful for um, to span gaps and kind of uh, be able to uh, like cross over places and get stuff. I did animals drop items because like last time we had two buffalo shaving them we would have had a hard time in winter um, and then I added uh, snapping uh, tiles uh, which I think this is mostly for tilling um, auto tilling on tiles yep Left shift, right mouse click. So we'll see how that does. This is a bunch of stuff. I've already, you know, how that goes. And then the other thing, I think I'm gonna allow myself to change one uh, world setting or world generation. And I think what we're gonna do is add more beefalo. We didn't have any last time. Well, we had two that we found the whole time. They're very important. Um, so that's going to be the new rule is we can add one thing every restart. So let's generate this world. <clears throat> All right, we are here. Got our list. Last time we just went with the standard Wilson for our first. This time we're going to go random. And we got, uh, oh, it doesn't even tell us till we start. That's kind of cool. Um, random here. Let's go. And we got... This is... Oh, I don't remember the spider's name. Um, Weber. That's the name I was thinking of. Got Weber here. I think he's a pretty powerful character. Um, at least for base building. We can get web and spiders. Uh, spider stuff much easier. Uh, you have to worry about pigs. Pigs are nasty. They won't like us. Uh, I think neither will beefalo. So we got to keep that in mind here. Go through and grab our pickups. See what we can do on the first date. It looks like right beside us to the east was some kind of um, like tiled fortressy looking uh, robot you know, gear kind of area. Um, but I'm going to continue on the road. See if we can find a major road. It'd be kind of nice. Oh, Savannah or grassland, I guess this would be considered. No beefalo to start with. I was hoping that they'd just be everywhere. I know we only changed it to four. Um, technically, you can go all the way up to lots, but I was just hoping to see them. They're f I don't know if they'll be friendly to me, though. So, actually, we kind of want to find Fidas. Ooh, and look at that. Already out the back. So, rabbits drop beard hair. I don't know what that's useful for, but interesting. Um... This does put a damper on the ability to go 
Um, the kind of the fun idea I was having with the uh, animals dropping stuff was pigs because they drop um, the pig skin or hypothetically they drop the pig skin. I don't know the frequency of it, but they would drop it at some point. Um, and with that, we could make more pigs to get more pig skin. I felt like it could get out of control, which would be very fun. But alas, as Weber, it will not. It will not be like that. And I don't know if spiders drop. Oh yeah, these guys are just dropping it everywhere. I don't know if spiders will drop anything for me. Or if they're considered not an animal, they're considered a monster, so they might not. I don't really know. Lots of beard hair. Savannah, continuing around. I wanted to make a lot of progress. I felt like that's part of the problem I had last time is I didn't just run and explore. I did, okay, so it led to here. Um, I kind of just started picking up a lot of stuff, which I feel like is fine, but also you don't need a ton of things starting off. Um, you more need to find the things that are gonna be important later before winter comes. Here's a tiled road, which, oh, that's really weird. Um, usually these lead to like major, not events, but like structures, a big head. Okay. That one didn't like usually the picking or, um, maybe one of the, um, like the gear places or stuff like that. I can't think of what those are called. The tiled structures, usually with like a marble statue or something. Usually it's something more important, so I like to follow them. Plus you get the walking speed bonus. Not very straight, so it's hard to run on. More bees, birchwood forest, frogs, bane of my existence. I think that would have been a nice mod dad would have been something that made me fight better. But alas, did not. I didn't think about it. Another road that way. Okay, another thing we should do this time is actually like Try to go to the caves and see if we can find something. Be kind of nice. Dang, this road continues forever. And it ends here at nothing. Sweet. Okay. Go ahead and give us an axe. We need to start um, building, getting stuff for a fire because we have not since we've been running all day. Alright. This area is not bad, but I'm not like sold on it. I don't want to like set up in the first place that we find. Plus we have no gold or anything, so there's no like necessary reason to. Perhaps more full grown trees here. I mean, it's a little nice area, it's just quaint, but we really want to set up next to spiders. So that can uh, save us time on that. You don't have to make our own nest and do all that stuff. Ooh, they drop. Uh, crimson feathers. That's very good. That means you don't have to make bird traps and stuff. Pretty nice. I'm I'm liking that. Gives us access to some like later game stuff. Cool. Right. Like I don't know what we can make with it off the bat, but I should keep an eye out for him. All right. Water's edge. Nothing exciting. We might have to go back up north. It's unfortunate since we walked all this way. But there's a couple like other paths that we've seen, so I'm not too sad. I guess the only downside to exploring now is no shovel, so we can't really take a ton of advantage from it. Okay. I also need to look up, maybe one of you can tell me or I'll look it up, what the beard hair is good for. Also someone tweaking outside. I don't know if they are. Oh, they have like a, a digger or a track go outside. Lovely. So I bet they're going to start doing something out in my yard that's probably going to be very loud. Which is not exciting for me. But uh, maybe one of you guys can tell me what the beard hair would be good for. Um, off the top of my head, I think the only one I can think of is the meat effigies require the beard to like revive. Um, and for, um, to preference, since we did die last one, I guess I could have went to touchstones. But I think we should hold off. Ooh, that's the walrus camp. That's a good find. Um, until we like feel like we're pretty set up. If we have like a really good run, we'll go do that. If we're just piddling and 
don't think we're going to make it, you know, through the next season for any particular reason. We will probably just start another one. So maybe if we're trying to actively survive, go ahead and make the fire right here somewhere. Like if we are pretty confident we're going to continue and we're, you know, we've built up a good base and we're fighting monsters efficiently, um, we're supplied up, we'll use touchstones and the like. If we're just kind of floundering, you know, we weren't prepared for winter last time, um, we didn't have, ooh, that is getting dark already. Um, we didn't have any pr real provisions set up. Also, just to make sure I'm on a healthy, healthy with the plants. Um, we didn't have anything. I wasn't very confident in our survival. Um, our food stocks were low. We were just kind of, we were trying to make the most out of a bad situation. And it just wasn't really, in my opinion, going our, our way. So, start again. Um, axe, axe, axe. But I'm already feeling much more confident here. We have our spider eggs here. We're a different character. Already a good supply of wood, which I felt like I neglected last time. Was just spending extra time at night cutting trees. So trying to get all that stuff done in the dead time. I feel like we wasted a lot of our nights just waiting or cooking or stuff like that. Which technically isn't a waste, but we need a ton of wood in this game. And without being a character that can harvest wood quickly, like the strong man or um, <clears throat> Woody the lumberjack, it's hard. And it can be like a time consuming thing. Ooh. Okay, this is the the moonstone stuff. Interesting. That's like late game stuff, but kind of cool to see it and find it this early. Okay, here's some stone. Let's go ahead and also pick this up while we're traveling. We are running into like um, inventory issues. We don't have Chester, which is very sad. All right, I'm not gonna worry about the niter. And drop that for now. Um, but I do want to set up a base. Usually by day like four. I like to have something. Okay, here we go. Here's some spiders. Good little friends. But the downside to these ones is there's nothing exciting nearby. There's a lot of trees, a lot of forest, and nothing else. There's one pigman. He's not going to like me, but I'm going to come up here and grab this. Sorry, friend. Um, is there anything I don't want? Okay, we're going to go this way. Come on. Oh, all these spiders. Yeah, it's better to kill him. I still would like... Yeah. <laughs> He's going to come and, like, fight us. I'll let, I will let them kill him. Yes, my army. I mean, it might be worth setting up here for now. Respawning pigs. I mean, we got that. We can put them up here. Use our spiders to our advantage. I'll see what you think. We always can come back here. Um, we don't even have the stones to set up a base. But if we don't see anything else interesting, could be an option. Well, we'll leave it as a a option for now. Um, and part of my strategy this time is I'm also going to try and follow the water's edge more often than the um, interior of the map just so we can like actually um, actually scope out the entire map. I felt like we had a lot of unexplored area last time um, and if we can at least do this we kind of know what biomes we're passing through. If there's anything off the coast we should be exploring all those kind of things because we built the bridge but we never got the wobster in last time. Actually we might not have I don't even think we even got to build the boat. Um, but that was one of the things I wish we would have taken more advantage of. So, one of the things on my list to look out for. Because I think lobsters provide a pretty good amount of food. And, you know, the games don't starve, so food is essential. Alright. You want to continue here. Probably at the end of night two, we will call it a little bit longer, but it'll be a good start. I'm feeling optimistic currently. Alright. Um, another thing we gotta keep in mind is we need- I didn't want that. Can I just eat this? Thank you. I don't think it does anything, but I don't want it in my inventory. Uh, I hear the bees. So this is a, a bee land. Bee land. As it would be. Nope, don't want to go spelunking yet. 
that like oh here's a a goose area nice to know about I feel like that's like the thing the most important part of starting and don't start is you want to find all the sites where is the boss is going to spawn where do you want to avoid all that kind of stuff okay so we're going all the way back hmm so the only like really nice thing we found is that walrus camp and I guess the spiders were nice, but not that interesting. There's a table. Seen him earlier. Stage hand. Nope, not a bunch of rabbits here, which could be, I mean, good meat, but at the same time, there's better sources. Like using that pig house as a pig farm um, with our spider friends could be better overall. But I, I'm kind of holding out until we get the gold and the stone before we, like, really um settle in i also am thinking on dropping this beard here when we find gold just because it's not very useful but it's like what 12 stone to um build a fire pit anyway i think we have everything to build at least a fire i guess i technically carry the niter i don't want to. we'll come back for it i don't know what it's even necessarily great for um i guess like Going north past where we spawned in. And on the actual trail. Maybe follow the trail up. Time for a snack. You'll get food when we bed down for the night. Because we have ten berries anyway. Four carrots. Plenty of stuff. Only day two. We got 18 more days. Now figure out what we're doing. Alright, more berries. Oh, nothing. Oh, is this top of the map? Does this wrap around up here? Oh, interesting. This a little land bridge? Oh, this is kind of cool. I'm not like seeing like a little bridge like that. Plus a triple um, road here. Okay. Oh, there is a rock den. There's the gold I need. Okay, here we go. This is the kind of area I was looking for. Stone out the butt. We have gold. That's what we needed. I'm not going to grab it just yet. I want to explore just a bit more. Alright, we have these. Cemetery, not the best. But also, like, opportunities for more gold. Hatchwork land. Stone and rock. Agua. For favor. Okay, let's grab this now. So, I don't know if we'll set up up here, there's not a lot going on, but we can at least grab some of the material. It's a good area for material, so possibly building some kind of trap over that walking bridge and using this island as our, like, full island if we can, you know, do it that way. Could be fun. I think it's all sectioned off. So anything that wants to come kill us might have to go through that teeny tiny bridge. Could be fun. Oh, I need to make a fire. Boom! So, I think that's what I will be thinking about. Seems like a good natural spawn. I can't really tell yet because um, I, I haven't explored the whole island, but that's what we will do next time. We're going to also fill up our belly a little bit more. I should be eating all these carrots to get them out of my inventory. I'm going to do that. And the two monster meat I can eat. Let's go ahead and eat two of these. Cook these, because he should be able to eat these, I think. Right? Uh, negative 10 sanity. Does that actually hurt us? I don't know if it does. Um, no, we just get the benefit from it. Alright, mostly full health. Sanity's going down a little bit, but... I think, I think we got something better here. But I'm going to wrap it up for this episode, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, you can hit that like button or subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.